So it's been a bit since I've actually done anything on Dark Souls 2 due to various reasons, but I couldn't leave this series just abandoned forever, so here we are, we're back, and let's just get straight into it. So here I am, the mad fool that I am, diving straight back into Dark Souls 2. But honestly, it's been a minute, I haven't actually put out an episode of this in a while. It's kind of the reason I decided to jump back into it, like there's other things I could do, but... It, it's been a while since we've touched this. And I feel like we should do more. Diving back in after a while showed me why I really shouldn't take a break. Yeah, it, it's been long enough that I've actually forgotten the controls. Which is a very, very um, useful. Without controls. not even remember the controls. Got you a thing. I should have cleared you out earlier, but I forgot you were there. And my skills continue to show. Think he's in here? He is. Oh! Ha! 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 Okay, that wasn't ideal. He's dead now, so it's fine, but that was not what I wanted. I continue to do a bit of an explore and a bit of a progress, and then, well, my memory failed me quite badly, which I learnt later. I've definitely dropped into there before, just out of curiosity, and it did nothing. I kept trying to figure out what I was doing, having been a while since I've been here and played this to a point I had no idea where I was going or what we were doing. Alright, so I, I have no idea where I'm going, but there is a major thing I forgot to do. So we're going to go and do that. So, I figured out... Well, I figured out something I haven't done yet, which I should do. And I also figured out where to go. And I'll explain it later, but long story short, I was an idiot. And I basically said something about, oh, you can't go here, nothing here. I could not have been more wrong if I was trying. But we will... Yeah, this is the thing we realised earlier, but we'll talk about that later. For now. Okay. The barrel is gone. You know, I was to say how do we get that back, but ultimately, we don't need it. Since I apparently can't do that, I decided to do the other bit of general progression and head to the place I was wrong about. Now, do you remember when I said about there's no point going in this hole? That's correct, if you go in the hole you just die. However, what you can do is this, which I had completely forgotten about. It feels like a terrible idea, but it's actually a good one. I headed through and up the stairs and found the fire that we did activate last time. And basically there was a lot of umming and ahhing from me at this point, but all you need to know is I end up deciding not to activate it because there's another place I need to activate later that I need a stone thing to get through. So I decided instead to head for a different fire I knew about. So we're gonna take a risk. Because I know for a fact there's another relatively close bonfire that is nowhere near that much of a struggle to get to. And it's literally just up there. I'm going to see if I can get it. Now let me be clear, I'm fully sort of wussing my way to try and get it. Like I'm running past the enemies, but it's because I need a bonfire. Nothing else matters right now. There it is! The hell? Oh my dragons! On the bright 
understand, we officially have progress today. Officially. Scary dragon aside, this is good. This is the first real progress of the day, as I just said, and that's a very good thing. We do know how a lot of grinding to do now, which is less interesting. Necessary, but less interesting. And yeah, the grinding did just continue against those knights until they were finally all vanquished. I just settled into grinding. I wasn't even recording my voice, but when I went to level up, I got curious and suddenly found an achievement. Wasn't looking for it, didn't know it was there, but I'll take it. Well, all the grinding is done. Well, okay, let me rephrase. All the grinding is done around here. Everything here is dead. Down the lift? No. But I know that down the lift is going to be challenging. I do not know if that's any good, but I wanted it. No. I remember... A boss level enemy... He treated me like the boss version of him did too. <gasps> no! Ah, oh, I could see it coming. I set all back into the grinding again, not really thinking much about what I said, as this next footage shows. But for a second I thought he'd just gone in there. That would have been terrifying. It looks like he can get in here, but he's just too big. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. I don't really have much else to say. There's just a lot of grinding to do here to get through this. I mean, beating this boss level dude took like four to five minutes per kill. So yeah, it took a while to get the same level of kills needed to get him gone, rather than with someone else. With him finally beaten though, it was a happy moment, and I was happy to move on to different enemies. So it didn't take as long as I thought to get this guy to stop spawning. Thankfully. It was very annoying. But now, this is all we have to deal with. And we got to move on from that to, and well, a boss, and I had a quick look around before we headed there. I can tell you already from past experience that how did the boss. I've been there before, I've seen it before. What I do. I feel like there's nothing in those rooms, but I don't honestly remember. Also down here as well. Oh, never mind. We're going to check, we're going to look at all these things. We may as well push through to the boss. I know there's a few enemies left to be wiped out, but not like they're going to be a major problem or anything, is it? I mean, they're, <laughs> they're literally one hit kills. Okay, yeah, they're both locked. Maybe we can get in the future, maybe we can't. So what we will do, head on back, do some level ups, and then head to the boss. I went and did a very quick level up. I had a lot of soul to use, so it made sense not to rush them all. And then I headed to the boss room. I have absolutely no memory of what's beyond this, other than the fact that it is a boss. Guess we shall soon find out. I 
I still don't remember him. Okay, he's harder than anticipated. I had a feeling, or maybe I don't remember him that well because, you know, he's easy, but I'm starting to remember him a little bit better. And I think that I had to use help to get him. But we are going to try a few times without help to see if that won't work. To be fair, that was much how I expected the battle to go. Dark Souls bosses are notoriously hard, so for him to be like this, yeah, no surprise. But I will keep pushing, as I always do. I get how to beat him in principle, but the problem is you have maybe two attempts, or maybe two hits, should I say before you're dead, if you're lucky. Now obviously I can reverse hollowing, and then I can use a summon, and that's certainly an option that I will take, but I want to try at least a couple more times before I can get him. Things continue going about as well as you'd expect until I finally hit the point that I think so many of us do. Okay, yeah, life's too short. <laughs> I'm gonna reverse hollowing and get some help. Last thing I must do. Reverse the hollowing. Now it's time to take down that boss. God, my guy is pale. I always forget how pale he is. Because he's more often not rotten. I always forget how pale he actually is. I also, while I'm waiting, I always forget the dragon tattoo on his face. I get my friend with me. It's always nice to see Lucatia, Lucity. I am sure I'm butchering that. And we headed off into the boss battle. So here we are. We're ready. I'm now slightly more armoured because I guess I can wear this without fat rolling now. I have a friend. And with my friend, hopefully. <laughs> I'm never saying all that again. With my friend, we can hopefully take this thing down. That's what I need is.
back this? Kill my friend, he's killed me! I think I need to back out the trauma, because I don't know if, it, if If you kill the NPC summon, can he come back? I don't know. So it does turn out the answer is yes, I can still summon them, they're fine, but I ended up doing a lot of research and it seems I've jumped the gun a bit, or a lot. I haven't finished the Lost Path still, haven't even fought a boss there, and yet I ran off to this next area to find that boss. I need to do what I never did before and finish this area off. Okay, so what I've been doing the whole time basically is kind of retracing, almost like retracing my steps from the stream when I streamed this. But I'm starting to sort of realise that I didn't do that right. Because I'm sort of looking at guys here because I want to get this game done. I don't particularly care if I have to use guys or not. But I'm looking at the guys and it's like, oh, you should be doing this and you should be going here and you should. You know, like the boss I'm I went up against there, literally it says there's another boss that really does need to be defeated first. I didn't know anything about this other boss. Not a clue. First thing I need to do is get that barrel done, which means for the first time learning how to use a bow. Never done that on Dark Souls 2 before. There we are! Um, heading here. This is what I was trying to activate before. I eventually managed to get the man moved and get all of the valuable stuff in here, something I've been wanting to do for a little bit, so that was cool. At this point I was very reliant on guides, but there's an issue that a lot of the guides I found, if I'm being honest, were just not very good. I felt like a lot of them just expected you to know where to go and what to do, and I just didn't. Like, massive chunks got skipped over because it was supposedly easy. This is Dark Souls, nothing is easy. <laughs> I did a rant in the video, but I'm cutting it now because, well, it, it wasn't great. It wasn't a good rant, it was a rant. Just know that my frustrations were great, and I ended up taking things into my own hand based on some completely inaccurate instructions I found. Apparently this does lead somewhere, which is why I did it. It took a little while longer, but I did eventually figure something out. This is why I can't go through that door. That is an obstruction. Definitely not usually right, but in this case, I hope I'm right. That door should now open. Uh, if it doesn't, expect the rage. Ah! <laughs> I had a little look around, beat some enemies, and eventually found something in the chest and suddenly things were clicking in my head and I just really hoped I was right because at this point I was guideless. Now this is where I think I need to go and I, I will make it clear now that I've kind of started making progress I'm no longer using guide. I'm only turning to guide and I get completely stumped. I have put the guide away. So if this is wrong we'll find out soon enough. Hello person, are you alive? Yes. Is there a target? Yes. He's dead now. And more importantly though, we can get in this door. I can see a load of guys charging me. 
They did not agree to this. They did not agree to this. <laughs> I really didn't. And things got worse. Oh no! Oh god no! Oh god no! Oh god no! Oh god no! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I got sandwiched. My name's not even Jill. Though that didn't exactly hold me up forever, I did eventually manage to deal with them. Well, I avoided the sandwich this time, which I probably shouldn't have taken, now I'm getting hungry. Yeah, now another door we can open. You know what I was about to say? Why did he run off? He was waiting for his friend. So that's one of the bosses we missed as we were playing before, huh? Guess we ought to go and say hi. Well, I have no Esther's flasks. But in the words of the great immortal, I'm sure somebody said it at some point. Yolo. Three economies! Oh, I seem to remember Nathan fighting these. And not much liking them. I have no healing items. First try, I nearly killed one. I have a half decent shot against them after all. Well, I may have to do some grinding. Not even so much to get level ups. I mean, I, I want level ups. I thought I want level ups, but. More just to uh, clear the enemies between here and there. So it didn't go so well. And when I had to deal with the remaining two, that didn't go so well either. And honestly, I don't really have much more to report because, yeah, I didn't get that boss beat. I mean, we did our best and we tried several times, but things just didn't go well. So now there's good a time they need to call it. Yeah, this is what I'm going to call it. We did not make as much progress as I would have liked. It's kind of ironic, every episode before with like, I'm not new area, I and mean, I guess we did in this one, but I, I don't really look at it as a new area, because it's kind of just a tower. <laughs> I don't really think that as a new area, but yeah. We actually filmed for longer this time, and got less done. <laughs> That's new. That's not an issue we've had before, but... Yes, it is an issue we had today. Still, we made progress. I mean, the big thing for me was finding that second boss. Because we've never fought him before. Or them before. That's completely new. Like, we never did that on stream. Like, I never went that direction. Like, that's the first time on this series that we've actually seen stuff that is completely new to me. So that was cool. Next time, I'm hoping to beat the bosses. Fingers crossed. Would be really nice for the least one of them but yeah <laughs> i will see you in that video and hopefully it's my videos i do have videos please watch them <laughs> take care that outro wasn't so great huh <laughs> let's fix that thank you for watching everybody my name is evolve pixel and i look forward to seeing you all again very very soon